A local icon and trailblazer in the art world has passed away. Sacramento painter Wayne Thiebaud died Saturday at 101 years old. He was known for his use of bright colors to paint everyday objects. Thiebaud was also a professor at UC Davis for decades. In a statement, the university's chancellor says in part, quote, Wayne had a profound and lasting influence on our university, but his legacy transcends UC Davis. He was beloved as an artist, professor, mentor, father, grandfather, philanthropist, and community leader. And tonight I spoke with a Sacramento realtor and artist, Tim Collum, who called Thiebaud his mentor. It's a sense of sadness, but at the same time, I think that... Um, I was very grateful and he's lived an incredible life and touched so many people locally and internationally. And I think he has really um, changed the way that art is seen. He painted everyday objects all the time and things that you take for granted. And he had his own take and brush strokes and um, color and technique were just absolutely superb. I played tennis with him um, every once in a while. And um, he, um, at first I, you know, he was introduced as a painter and I said, that's great. And, you know, cause I sell real estate as well and I can get you some houses that you could paint. And um, we both laughed about it after a while because I didn't know he was really a world famous painter. And I think that's one of those things that you just never know what you're getting into with him. And he's the most like humble man. He drove the same car. He lived in Lamb Park, um, wore the same shoes, always wore white dress shirts. And there was all these speckles of paint. And, you know, his paintings would go for millions of dollars at Christie's and Sotheby's. I think the main thing that you take away from Wayne Thiebaud is that he is so humble and he's so genuine and he's so approachable. Every time he, he came to my gallery and he also, um, I would see him out and about um, at different shows. And I probably drove him nuts with all the questions I asked him. But that was basically where he was a big mentor and huge influence for me. Thiebaud has worked all over the country, including the Smithsonian, and a large part of his collection is in the Crocker Art Museum. We will be taking a closer look at his life and legacy tomorrow on ABC 10.